In this video, I'll show you how to get more FPS in Roblox. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. First method actually going to involve going into a Roblox game and adjusting some settings from there. So all you want to do is join any Roblox game. For this example, I'm just going to go and join Please Donate. So click on the play button and I'll see you once it's launched. So here we are on Roblox and then all you need to do is go and pause the game. So either you can go and press escape on your keyboard or go and press on the Roblox icon in the top left and it's going to go and pause the game. And we've got this sort of menu here. And now all you want to do is go and press on settings and then scroll down until you can go and see graphics mode. And then all you need to do is click on one of these sides and then it's going to go and change it to manual. So to increase the FPS, you probably want to go and lower the graphics because if we have lower graphics and quality, um, we're going to have increased performance. So it's a bit of a trade off for lower quality, you're going to have higher performance. So go and adjust it to whatever le level you like. As I say, the lower you go and decrease the quality, it's going to look worse, but it is probably going to go and run smoother. So you go, you can go and find a balance for what works for you. So for the second method, you actually need to just come onto your desktop, just like so, and you need to come down to the magnifying icon here, which is basically the search function. And all you need to do is go and search for graphic settings, just like so, and it's gonna go and appear under system settings. So you can alternatively just go and launch settings and come to system, display them graphics, but I find it easy just to go and search directly for it. And then all you want to do is come down to custom options for apps and under this add an app box here, you want to go and click browse. Now this is gonna go and open up your file explorer and you want to come straight to this top bar here where it says this PC and go remove it. And then all you need to do is type in percentage, app data, percentage, just like so and press enter. And then it's gonna go and take you to this folder here. But as you can see, it's actually put us into this roaming folder. So all you want to do is press on app data again and it takes us to these three options and you want to go and press on local. And then scroll down and so you can go and see the option for Roblox. So I just scroll past it, I think here it is. Then double tap on Roblox. And then as you can see, we've got a few more folders. And what you need to do is go and press on versions. And now what you need to do is find the most recent version. So in this case, it's the 22nd of September. And it's also got this highest number here. So go and tap on this. And then as you can see at the bottom, we've got Roblox Player Beta and Roblox Player Launcher. You want to go and add both of these, but you have to do it one at a time. So let's start off with Roblox Player Beta, press add and then it's been added to the bottom. And all you want to do is press options. And then you want to make sure high performance is selected and go and press save. And then we want to go back to the top and press browse again and go back to that same location. And then we'll add the other one, which is Roblox Player Launcher. Then press add and it's gonna go and show us here press on options and then we can go and press high performance and go and press save. And that's literally all you need to do. Then go and run Roblox and see if there's a difference and let's get into this next method. For the third method, all you need to do is come down here and go and tap on the magnifying glass and we can go and search for this. And then all you need to do is type in performance just like so. And what you need to do is go and click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. So if you don't get this search result by searching performance, go and type in adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, tap on it and it's gonna go and open up this menu here. And then all you want to do is go and select for adjust for the best performance. Now what this is gonna go and do, it's gonna change the whole look of Windows, but it is gonna make Windows a lot more optimized for performance, which is gonna go and increase the FPS for games and increase the FPS for Roblox. So go and tap on it and then press apply. As I said before, things are gonna look different, but if you don't like it, you can always go and open this up again and adjust it back. And for the next method, I recommend doing this quite regularly. All you need to do is come onto your keyboard and press on the Windows key and the R button, and you're gonna go and get this thing called Run. And what you want to do is delete what's currently in this open box. And what Run does, it takes directly to folders. And all you need to do is type in percentage and then go and type in temp. And then percentage again, like so, press enter, and it's gonna go and open up this folder here. This is a ton of temporary folders. If I scroll down, there are literally tons here. You'll probably have even more than this, to be honest. And all you want to do is go and select them all, just like so, or you can do Control A, and then right click and go and click on show more options and then we can go and press on delete and then they're all going to be put into our recycling bin. You have a few of these options here, it says folder and use, just go and click skip. You can just do this for all current items and then it's going to move everything into the recycling bin. And then all you need to do is open up the recycling bin, select it all again and then you can go and properly delete it. And now this final method's not going to go and apply for everyone, but if you want to go and exceed the 60 FPS cap on Robux, which is currently set at, if you've got more sort of a high-end computer, then you need to go and get something called Robux FPS Unlocker, I'll go and show you how to get it. So come to Google and then all you need to do is search for Roblox FPS Unlocker. And after you've searched it, you need to come to the official website, which is by GitHub. This is basically a file hosting place. Click it, it's by Austin with an X. And then all you need to do is scroll down and find the latest version, which is this one here. 
and you want to go and click on assets and go and click on the zip folder and then it's going to go and drop the download it says it may be dangerous but they've actually done a virus check here um, and then all you need to do is go and press keep just because it's and it's important to note that every browser is slightly different and yours may not appear in the bottom left you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer in your downloads folder so go and open that up there go to your downloads folder and you'll find the zip file and then all you need to do is open it up just like so and then double click on this application here and it's going to go and launch as you can see minimize the system tray in two seconds and then all you need to do is come and close off of um, the folder we can minimize our browser and then come down here into the bottom right of your toolbar. You may have to go and look in the show hidden icons bit to find it, but mine's here. Then right click on it. And all you want to do is click on FPS cap and go and put it on none. And now robots can go and run it in a higher FPS than it could before. I'm pretty sure it's locked at 60. So when you go and open up Roblox, you are going to notice a difference of that as well. And after all those methods, if you are still experiencing lag, then it's probably time to go and upgrade your computer. I know they are expensive, but it's worth trying to get a second hand one maybe, or maybe borrowing somebody else's. But that's one of the last method you can try to get a better experience on Roblox, and it will definitely help having a faster computer. Or you can maybe play Roblox on a mobile device or a console, depending if you have those available. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. Peace.